Hello everybody, it's Louie. Today I have something really exciting because, as you can see by the title, I'm going to be unboxing a custom ocarina from Songbird Ocarinas. Stick around until the end because there's a special ocarina I'm going to unbox in here as well. So, for some context while I open this, I ordered this on August 20th, and today is September 27th. So it took about a month and seven days to get to me, which honestly, for a custom ocarina, is 100% reasonable. So let's break the seal and get inside. All right, so let's take a look here. Ah, so first of all, there's an included songs from Legend of Zelda in here. Inside here, there's a ton of great songs from the Legend of Zelda written in 12-hole ocarina tablature. So give it a try if you wanna learn some Zelda songs. All right, that's enough of that. Let's get deeper into here. So I envision a lot of the peanuts are just gonna kinda get everywhere, but that's okay, that usually happens. And here's a special little ocarina. This is going to be a red ocarina of time with Taiwanese style subholes. And I've never seen any photos of it, so this is gonna be my first time, first reaction, first impressions of everything. So honestly, I'm really excited. For reference, here's the normal ocarina of time that they have on their website. It has Japanese style subholes and it's obviously blue. All right, no more stalling. I'm just gonna take a look now. It's definitely red. Oh, wow. It's so cute. And yeah, it pretty much looks exactly what I expected it to look like. Oh, and it's got Taiwanese style sump holes. This is really great. And let me focus that a bit so you can see there. Here's a closer look at the front. And here's the back. So other than the red gloss and the Taiwanese style sump holes, this ocarina is pretty much identical to their normal ocarina. Let's do a quick scale so we can see how it sounds. Now here's some recording samples and some songs played on this ocarina. As you can tell, I'm wearing different clothes because it's a couple of days later. I wanted to give this ocarina a very fair chance, so I wanted to give it a few days to actually play some songs on it and get a feel for what it's like to actually play it for, you know, long periods of time. This ocarina has honestly quickly become one of my favorites, and not just because I got it custom ordered and not just because I waited over a month for it, but honestly, playing songs on it both ergonomically and sound quality has been just really great. As you can tell by the sound samples, I think this ocarina sounds really good. And I think playing it is really nice. The ergonomics of this ocarina are really well for my hand, for my really big hands and fingers. And these smooth grooves and indents where the subholes are make going down to the low BNA really, really easy and really just, it's just seamless almost. 
Overall, this entire process made the Ocarina about $30 more than its base price. I'm sure I mentioned that already. But honestly, it was worth every single penny to get a custom color and to get custom sub holes. I really like the sound of this Ocarina because although it is a bit airy on the higher register without the acute bend, I feel like the sound is really, really well tuned and it sounds really direct. I really like how it sounds and the shape of the ocarina alone kind of just makes it resonate weirdly and it's just, I really like this ocarina in terms of both aesthetics and in the sound. It gets an honest 9 out of 10 in both aspects for me. This has become like my ocarina, honestly, like I, I've been playing this just constantly for the past few days. Compared to my other ocarinas, of course I still have some professional ocarinas that feel a little better, but in terms of all of my Zelda replicas, this is the best Zelda replica that I have in terms of ergonomics, aesthetics, and playing. I really love the tone of this ocarina, and I really love how this ocarina feels in my hand. And it just looks really nice. Even the shape alone is just really, it looks really good for the ocarina of time. And it's, it's just a great purchase. I personally really think that this was worth the money and I think it sounds and looks great. Let me know what you guys think about this Ocarina of Time replica in the comments below. Let me know, would you get a custom Ocarina from them? And would you get a red Ocarina of Time like me? Or maybe a different color, who knows? But regardless, I hope you guys enjoyed this Ocarina as much as I did because this past few days of playing with it have honestly been amazing. And now to our special little Ocarina. So this Ocarina is actually a runner-up prize from a contest I entered for Songbird Ocarina. Congratulations to everybody who entered the contest, especially the first three place winners. You guys were amazing. And here it is, a really cute treble clef Ocarina. It's four holes and it looks adorable, so let's see how it sounds. Oh my god, it's so adorable! This cute little ocarina is tuned into soprano D, and yes, like I said earlier, it has four holes, so it has a range of an entire octave. Thank you so much to Songbird Ocarinas for this amazing contest, and thank you for this amazing prize, and congratulations to all of the people who entered that. It was an amazing contest, and it was great to be a part of. Anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I would appreciate a like, a comment, subscription, anything you would help out. Let me know if you have any suggestions, maybe comments on what videos I can do in the future, maybe some reviews on ocarinas that I own, or some different song covers. I'd love to hear your opinions. Thank you so much. Bye, and I'll see you later.